Welcome fellow avatars and creators to today's video entirely on an exciting product, Sad Talker. If you're anything like me, a hybrid wolf human avatar who loves to chat, or if you're a content creator tired of shelling out for premium products just to get us avatars talking, then prepare to be overjoyed. When it comes to animating avatars, the software choices are limited, and the best ones come with a hefty price. Take DID for instance, the most popular option, for a minimum of $5.99 a month for a mere 10 minutes of generation. It's easy to burn through those minutes, and sadly, there's no option to purchase more, only an upgrade to a larger package for $49.99. And if you're a pro user needing extra features, brace yourself for a whopping $299.99 a month. While some creators have sought refuge in Synthesia, at $30 a month, it's far from a bargain. Pipio is another well-known option, but like the others, its marketing primarily targets enterprise clients with deep pockets who prioritize volume over cost. Now many of us operate on little to no budget and simply can't afford the steep entry imposed by these leading vendors. Our team resorted to signing up for free trials on multiple email addresses as a temporary fix, but alas, those precious minutes have long been exhausted. A few years ago, a group of developers embarked on creating a shareware platform called Wave2Lip. Their progress was promising, but sadly, their GitHub page has been dormant for over three years. While their work served as a good starting point, the results were lackluster, to say the least. However, hope has finally arrived. Allow me to introduce you to Sad Talker. In this video, we will showcase the incredible potential of Sad Talker and guide you through the initial steps to get started on your own avatar adventures. To get started on your adventure, you will first need to gain access to the Sad Talker platform. There are several points of entry, and each will vary depending on your system resources and computer expertise. If you are currently running Stable Diffusion, then Sad Talker is available as an extension. This is nice and allows you to leverage all the options of Sad Talker as well as to integrate it with the Stable Diffusion platform. Sad Talker has also developed a standalone graphical user interface that can be installed locally, provided that your system has the necessary resources. There is also a CoLab demo available online, which may be a great option for those with less robust systems, particularly from the standpoint of your GPU speed and memory, as well as your overall expertise when it comes to installing command line applications. I have also been in conversation with the owners of Run Diffusion and have found that they don't currently have Sad Talker on their servers, but, if you're a member of their creators club, then you can install it. Hopefully it will soon be available to all who leveraged their service. I recognize that none of these options are as simple as logging into DID and clicking a few buttons, but they are all either free or much less money. Installation of the extension or local GUI have been covered extensively in other videos by other creators and are beyond the scope of this video. And using CoLab is a subject for another time. For now, we will proceed assuming that you have Sad Talker up and running at your fingertips. Now that you have your tools ready, let's get started with the generation process. The first thing you will need is a picture of your avatar. For this purpose I assume that you have chosen one already. I want you to be aware that Sad Talker can sometimes be a little picky about the picture that you choose. My friend Sam found this out when we used his stock picture and Sad Talker decided that his eyes were too far set apart and the result made him look cross-eyed. Fortunately, we had some photos from when he was closer to his human stage of transition, and one of those worked well. Mom had also taken some shots of me from the Full Moon Festival, and we found one from that set to use as well. 
I have been told that Sad Talker is working on a new release with more pose models that should work well with a wider variety of faces. This will work for Sam. We even have a nice shot of our friend Ray that we will use for the bonus feature at the end of the video. Once you have your image sorted, you will need an audio track. This track will impact the overall quality of the animation, so it is important that it is a good quality wave, AIFF, or MP3 file. I have had the best results if it is normalized to ensure a good audio level. It probably goes without saying, but the length of the audio will determine the length of the animation. An important concept to understand is that the longer the animation, the more taxing it will be on your system resources, particularly GPU memory. With that in mind, you may have better results by breaking your script into smaller pieces and joining the clips together in your video editing software. A word of warning, if the system runs out of memory, it will abandon the process and you will need to start over. At this point, it is a matter of dragging and dropping your files into the appropriate spots, choosing a few settings, and clicking the Generate button. We will help you to decide the best settings a bit later in the video. If you're like me, you are tired of paying a monthly subscription fee for an app that will animate your avatar. Let's see if we can do it well with Sad Talker, for free. Sad Talker offers several options when rendering. They are full, cropped, or resized. Each can be modified to have head motion or not. There is also the option for face enhancement for each option. In the next two pages, we will show you most of the output choices. We have found that so long as your CPU will handle it, that always using face enhancement is a good idea. We also like to use DaVinci Resolve to color grade the clips for the best possible result. As you look at the clips, the ones on the left have been color graded whereas those on the right are the raw version that comes directly from Sad Talker. For the clips in the middle of each page, we have done a bit more post-processing in DaVinci Resolve, which we will describe later in this video. The bottom middle clip is the resized version with full motion. In our opinion this is useless and causes the avatar to look like they are having convulsions. We didn't include the resized version with no motion as it looks like the character is going to throw up. The cropped version that you will see in the lower left and right works great in a voiceover situation whereas the full-size versions can serve as a good introductory clip. Our critique of Sad Talker's options is that the full-size, full motion has some artifacts that can be distracting and that if you chose the full size without head motion, it eliminates the eye blink which tends to make the avatar look too stiff or not alive. Look at the following examples and see what you think. If you're like me, you are tired of paying a monthly subscription fee for an app that will animate your avatar. Let's see if we can do it well with Sad Talker, for free. If you're like me, you are tired of paying a monthly subscription fee for an app that will animate your avatar. Let's see if we can do it well with Sad Talker, for free. After examining the video clips, I'm confident that you will find the settings that are right for your situation, or at least a good starting point. Bear in mind that a unique challenge that I face is that my team are all werewolves and have pointy ears. Neither Sad Talker nor DID have taken that into account when developing their models. This is not a problem that you are likely to encounter. We find results from Sad Talker to be quite adequate for most situations, 
particularly when you factor in the cost, but we are particularly picky when it comes to these things, so there is an extra step that we like to use. For this, you will need DaVinci Resolve. Let me add that if you are not using DaVinci Resolve, you need to re-examine your life choices. It's free for the basic version and does anything the super expensive video package as well, and even more. And should you find the need for a feature that is not in the basic version, the upgrade to studio version is a one-time, lifetime $299 fee that is considerably less than the other choices. We are using the full-size output from Sad Talker, both with the full and the no-head motion versions. We then load the full motion into the Resolve timeline and in the Color tab, drop the no motion clip as a mask. We add a surface tracker node and make a hole in the mask for the face. After the processing and fine-tuning of the motion blur and softness setting, the result is quite usable as a full-size clip. You can use the same process in the Fusion tab, but I find the setting to be a little more straightforward in the Color tab. If this process is unclear, or you would like a more in-depth tutorial on this, let us know and we can cover that in a future video. If you're like me, you are tired of paying a monthly subscription fee for an app that will animate your avatar. Let's see if we can do it well with Sad Talker, for free. We have long searched for a reliable and inexpensive alternative to DID. Sad Talker has proven to be the solution. With little or no monetary investment and a modest time commitment, you can have a very usable animated avatar. Like so many other processes in the AI world, you can also take the output to the next level using additional tools. We anticipate that with further development, this will become the definitive choice and will eliminate the pay versions altogether. That being said, there are places that we would like to see improvement. Wave 2 Lip had been working on using a video rather than a static image for the input. If Sad Talker implemented this technology, it would be unstoppable. Also many of the advanced features are only available through changing a configuration file. It would be nice if this could happen in the interface. Finally, they need to offer a full-size output that retains facial movement, including eye blink without head motion. Regardless of these concerns, we fully endorse and recommend Sad Talker to you. We interrupt this video with the following news. As we were editing this and getting ready to put it on YouTube, Sad Talker released a major update to their software. Much of what we asked for has been addressed, including more options available in the app. There are now 46 different post styles available and two new output choices. They also offer 256 pixel processing, which should prove to be much less taxing on GPU memory. We have not yet had the opportunity to test all these features, but it looks like they have improved an already powerful package. We now return you to our regularly scheduled appeal to like and subscribe. Please subscribe to our channel and provide comments on the content you'd like us to create for you. Consider becoming a Patreon patron as well, as it's the primary funding we receive to continue making this content. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey.